Polaris never moves. Polaris is located over the North Pole every single day of the year, which means the North Pole points to Polaris in December, and the North Pole points to Polaris in June. Every day of the year, the North Pole will point to Polaris. And the major problem with this is the North Pole in June and the North Pole in December are separated by roughly 186 million miles as they are on opposite sides of the sun. So if the Earth is tilted 23 and a half degrees in December and the Earth is tilted 23 and a half degrees in June, and these two poles are separated by 186 million miles, how do they both point to the same star? This is essentially claiming that the North Pole in June, the North Pole in December, and Polaris form a triangle. But triangles can't have two parallel lines. Their explanation for a lack of a stellar parallax with Polaris is that Polaris is really, really, really far away. In fact, Polaris is over 2.55 quadrillion miles away. It's so far away that there's absolutely no detectable parallax between the Earth in June and the Earth in December, which is separated by 186 million miles. Everything with this model has been reverse engineered from the truth. The ultimate goal from the beginning was to place the sun at the center of the universe. They want the sun at the center, as they are sun worshippers. Heliocentrism is simply modern-day sun worship masquerading as a science. So their goal from the beginning was to put the sun at the center. So how do you do this? Well, the first thing you have to do is you have to make the sun much larger than the earth. For the Earth to orbit the Sun, the Sun's going to have to be much larger than the Earth. But when I stand on Earth and I look at the Sun, it looks no bigger than a quarter. So how do you explain this? Oh, well that's because the Sun is really far away. So since we, we had to make the Sun really big to place the Sun at the center, now we have to make the Sun really far away. So let's make the Sun 93 million miles away. But now we've dug ourselves into a deep hole, because now we've made the diameter of the Earth's orbit around the Sun roughly 186 million miles wide. And Polaris never moves. The North Pole in June is separated from the North Pole in December by roughly 186 million miles, and yet both poles point to Polaris. So how do we account for this? Oh, well, we're just going to have to make Polaris really, really, really far away to account for the fact that we see no observable parallax from June to December. So the only way to rationalize away this is to make Polaris over 2.55 quadrillion miles away. But I ask you, if Polaris is over 2.55 quadrillion miles away, how come I can see it? Oh, well, that's because Polaris is really, really, really freaking big. Polaris is 46 times the size of the sun. Every explanation has to be reverse engineered because they started with an ultimate goal of placing the sun at the center. Every other fact that they create is reverse engineered to make this work. It's just like George Orwell said in his book 1984. The stars can be near or distant according as we need them. Do you think it's beyond our mathematicians to create a dual system of astronomy? This is exactly what happened in reality. All these men that we learned about who created the heliocentric model, they had to work collectively over the span of 2,000 years to reverse engineer this model. This model comes from man. This model is built on perfected mathematics that has no relation to reality, no relation to the truth. It's simply a reverse-engineered masterpiece.